happy nine years old, my pink rosy girl. I'm nine. You're nine. I'm nine. <laughs> oh, I didn't even <laughs> Welcome to Myrtle Beach Eats and Beyond, the show where a local foodie, that's me, attempts to parlay a passion for delicious eats into a useful video guide for other locals and tourists attempting to answer the age-old question, where should we eat in Myrtle Beach? Don't worry, I've got you covered. With me on this journey are my three progeny, that's them, who also love to experience new eating emporiums, raising them upright. We'll also be exploring fun, family-friendly activities and showing you the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts, the lowdowns and hoedowns of where to shop, play, stop, and stay. If you're lucky, I might even cook for you. And if that's not enough to convince you to subscribe, just know that once a week, I am completely wrecking my diet to bring you this content. Now, I'm not saying that you should feel guilty about that in any way, but I'm just saying you should subscribe. Hello friends and welcome to our table. When I was a little girl, I couldn't wait to get my ears pierced. My mom had them, my older sister had them, and I just look forward to the day that I could flash my own bejeweled earlobes onto the world for my own sparkly satisfaction. Mom told me that I would have to wait until I was 12, but for my ninth birthday, my mini took me to the mall to have my ears pierced for my birthday present. It was such a special memory for me, I knew that I wanted to gift that memory to my own daughters one day, and so I resisted the urge to pierce their ears as babies and sat back to wait for the day that they would tell me they were ready for their ears to be pierced. Now, Emma Alexa told me that she did not want her ears pierced after I explained the process to her when she was four, so I said okay. When she was five, she said she would like to have them pierced, so I said okay. <laughs> When she was six, she changed her mind and she didn't want them pierced. I said, okay. And when she was seven, she changed her mind back and said she did want them pierced. I told her that I would consider having her ears pierced for her birthday once we had gotten through one full year without her changing her mind. I explained that changing our minds is totally fine, but I didn't want her to have her ears pierced and then see her change her mind afterwards to the point that she would have regretted having them done. So I just told her we would wait until she was really, really sure and that would be okay. So from age seven to eight, she didn't change her mind, and I had begun researching different piercing studios recommended by other moms in my area because I knew that I didn't want to go somewhere that uses a piercing gun. I wanted high quality professionals working on my baby's earlobes. I had chosen a place, but then we moved to another state. So with her ninth birthday approaching, she still hadn't changed her mind, and I was fairly certain it was for real this time. So I looked to the mom's groups for recommendations yet again. I had heard really good things about piercings by Jackie. I called and the lady on the phone was so sweet and so friendly. The only problem was that they were closed one day a week, which happened to be Tuesday, the very day her birthday fell on this year. And so I knew she would be crushed to not have her ears pierced on her actual birthday. So I checked out the next shop that came highly recommended, which was Elite Body Piercing. I booked an appointment online, made sure that I had her birth certificate with me, and we showed up to fill out paperwork. Easy peasy earlobe squeezy. Now at this point, I just wanna mention how friendly and welcoming everybody at Elite was. We did chat with about three different techs while we were there and they were all awesome, not just with me, but with my kids as well. I could not have asked for a better spot, bar none. The lady who did her piercings was so careful to measure repeatedly in order to get the piercings perfectly placed and she was super patient with us as well. Although I was trying really hard not to be an overbearing mother and trust her professional judgment, I still had to ask about which direction her ears would grow to ensure in my mind that the placement was just right. And when my bumbling self touched her earlobe with my bare finger before realizing that I was not supposed to do that as it interferes with the sterile environment, she honestly didn't bat an eye at my idiocy even though I'm sure I was annoying as heck. If you're watching, I'd just like to say I'm sorry again. Now the pinch was a bit much for her. It was a little bit more uncomfortable than she anticipated, but getting to see her sparkly ear afterward made it all worth the owie. Oh, you have an earring. You did it. I'm oh, just going to back on, okay? Yeah. You want to see it before I do the other one? That'll be worth it. <gasps> what do you think? She has an ear pierce. Oh, you like it? Was it worth the pain now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just one more pinch and then you're all done. It's okay. It's worth it. It's the kind of pain we want for a minute. You know how long I had to wait for you to be born and you were hurting me? It was like 26 hours. <laughs> By the time the second load was getting poked, the first one had stopped hurting and she felt a little bit more assured that everything was going to be okay. She was so happy not only that she got her ears pierced, but that she bravely faced an uncertainty that made her nervous and conquered her fear. I was proud of her and also so happy that she was so well cared for. Yay! She did it! She's pierced! We went to a late lunch early dinner right from the studio and I know that she enjoyed her brisket all the more knowing that her ears were glittering with every chew. Elite Body Piercing is located at 673 Robert Grisham Parkway in Myrtle Beach. You can schedule an appointment by phone or online at EliteBodyPiercing.com. All right, show us. Ooh, she's got some earrings. She's a pierced girl, officially nine years old. She did it. She was nervous, but she sucked it up and she did it. This one still hurts. Just squeeze above the ear like this a little bit. A little lower, closer to the piercing. Wait, it's helping. Okay, so it's helping even where you're doing it. Sorry. Yeah. So, how do you feel? I don't know, I feel weird, but also happy. And I also feel sad and so nervous.